Hey guys, it's me, Pop Crazy Yoshi, and today I will be reviewing a Naruto Nendroid made by the Good Smile Company. Uh, it's pretty cool, and today I will be reviewing it, showing you the three poses they have here, and showing you the base pose, showing you how everything works. So this is basically a guide on how to use Nendroids, kind of, yeah. And also a review on the Naruto one. Tell me in the comment section below if you want me to review more Nendroids when I get them. I might get some for Christmas, so I'm not sure yet, but we shall see. So, let's go. So first we're going to be reviewing the hands. This is a uh, seal for the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Well, it's a seal for a lot of juices, but you know, we don't talk about that. Here's a fist for left the left hand. This seal, by the way, is for the... This is a right hand seal. Uh, then we've got a hand. And as you can see there, it has a hole in it. And the hole is there. For I'm showing the... the uh, Rasengan that I'm using right now in more detail when we get to it. I'm just sh demonstrating this really quick um, crap. All right, there we go. See it holds the Rasengan like that like so and uh, Yeah, this is for his right hand This is the right hand fist This is a uh, open left hand, and this is a left hand seal. All right. So next, I'm showing you this joint. It has nothing to do really. Only if you need a replaceable part because you lost a joint or a joint broke. Next, we'll be showing the arms. The arm. This is a right arm. You can tell because it has the patch. The. This is a bent right arm. Uh. It's bent more than this right arm. This right arm is slightly less bent. And then here's a straight right arm. Next, we have this left arm. It has no patch, so you can see it's left. And it's the same two as before, but without the patch. So, next, we have the face. The face, we start with the neck piece. It looks like this. This thing. This side attaches to uh, the face. And right down here is the ball joint for the uh, neck. So that was that. Now we're going to go over the three faces. We've got the normal uh, Naruto's face. With nothing, it's just Naruto's face, it's got the whiskers, everything, good eye detail. Um, and then we've got uh, Nine Tails mode, Naruto, when Nine Tails takes over him before he has control of it, and he's an anger boy, and it's pretty cool. And then last, but, and his eyes are red and stuff like that. And last but not least, we've got the Sage mode face. He's got all the details for the Sage Mode. The only thing I wish they did with this is they don't have a cloak for Sage Mode. Which I know Naruto doesn't always wear the Sage Mode cloak. But it would have been pretty cool if they included a, a cloak you could put on. Because, you know, that would be cool. Anyways, so next we've got the torso. It's just, it's torso. That's special. This hole in the back is for this transparent piece that helps them stand up. You uh, put the hole in there, like so. It You need to force it in a little bit, but then you put it here, and with this transparent piece, you stick the bottom uh, point into one of them, and then you can bend it however you want. And with the rest of the body, it looks better, which I'll be showing you later. But, all right. So next thing are the hips and the legs. So here we've got a uh, just a singular piece 
the feet come off though, whereas uh, legs are bent like this. So it, it's uh, it's in a position like this. Then we've got a bent leg like this, like he's kneeing someone. Or he's just like jumping with his leg in front of him. And then there's this bent leg for it's the uh, left leg. If I'm doing, yeah, it's the left leg. And this is the right leg. The one, the legs with bands on them are the uh, right leg. So this is a straight right leg, and this is a straight left leg. Then there's also this hip, hip piece that you put those legs on. Alright, so next we're going to go over the hair pieces. So, first for the hair piece, we've got uh, this hair piece. It's um, just the back of his hair. And there's also this, there's a little thing here, and there's a hole in the back of his head. That you put this in, and then it looks like that. And then there's the front, which has the uh, Hidden Leaf Ninja emblem, or the Hidden Leaf Village emblem, and um, his hair, the front of his head. So next, we're gonna about to go over all the transparent pieces. Oh, uh, never mind. First, we're going over the jutsu that I haven't showed. So first, there's a Rasen shuriken. It's got the swirling detail in the middle. And then there's the Rasen gun, which also has a swirling detail in the middle. They're both pretty uh, detailed for what they are, and I like them. I think they're good quality. And next we've got this. This is kind of hidden when you get it. I thought it was missing, but it wasn't. It was on the back of the uh, uh, cardboard that's in the box. So you have to kind of like fish it out of there or take the cardboard out of the box, which I did. But it's uh, like chibi version of Kurama or the Nine-Tailed Fox. It's pretty cool. You put it in this plastic stand like so. It's got two uh, plastic piece sheets that are apart from each other and it this slides in perfectly. So then this stands and if you put the Naruto on display you can put this behind it. So that's pretty cool. Next we've got this piece which holds the Rasen Shuriken and can make it look like Naruto's about to throw the Rasen Shuriken. Here's the uh, bent piece like this. It holds up the uh, character, wh whatever uh, thing you have. And this is the flat piece that all the uh, things go into. So, before I start showing all this, if I am not mistaken, every Nendroid piece can go together with every Nendroid piece. It doesn't matter. So... There's a lot of uh, fun with these if you have a few of them because you can like mix and match them So now I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, basic one and then I'm going to be quickly uh, Making the rest so the normal one you have the head you put in the normal face like that and Then you take the hair and it slides into the top like that so that now you've got the head with the body you get the body and you have to put the arms in the right joints. So, this is the right arm, so you put it in the right side of the torso. And then you take the right fist and put it in there. So, there you go. Then you get the left straight arm. Do the same thing you did with the right one. And get the fist. And it goes in. So then you've got the torso done. Now for the legs, you've got this piece right here. There's holes in the bottom for the joints. And so the left le the left uh, side has the uh, leg with the strap around it. You can tell because it also has the bag on the uh, his back side. And then you do this. All right, so before I was rudely interrupted by my parents. Uh, here are the legs. So now you put the legs together. There's a little ball here. You stick it together by doing this. 
just pressing them together, make sure the holes are right. And then this is done. Then you just, oh wait, I forgot something with the head. All right, sorry about that guys. But this neck joint has to go in, which goes in with the flat piece like this. And then you put the face in and then the hair. And then now you've got this ball joint here that you can put in. And then you've got the full nart. Now I'll be showing you the three different poses that there are while spinning them around so you can see every angle of them. So this is the first one that I've done. It's got nart on the nine-tailed fox in the back. And you see he's all together, he's got the uh, nine-tailed face, and he's got the pole in the back connecting him to make him have this jumping effect. Alright, time for the next pose. So next we have uh, Naruto doing the shadow clone jutsu seal. As you can see here, he's got the thing connected to his back to hold him up. And I like putting it at the end just so there's some room in front. And so, yeah. That's that. Now on to the last one, which is Sage Mode. My favorite. But it's also the most painful to set up. Alright, finally we've got uh, Rasen Shuriken Naruto. Sage Mode Naruto, I mean. And uh, he uses the Rasen Shuriken. And it clips on... Um, with two things like that. You kinda need to adjust it at the first time you get it out. But it's fine after that. So to wrap up this video, thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, thank you for the for support recently. We're almost at 100 subscribers. So if we can get there by the end of this month, that would be great. And I might give away something. I'm not sure about that. But... I would like to thank you guys for almost 100 subscribers. I'm really excited to get to that milestone. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.